first thing you'll do in After Effects, you open the file, file, open, or import the file, file, then I save mine, pat with Matt, open, the next thing you'll do is you'll drag it into your composition box, make it large enough where you can easily see it, take the pen tool, and knock out everything, you just click what you want in the video. And that's it, everything else is black. Then you go to the key light in the, the effects preset, just type in K-E-Y-L, you get the key light, you drag that into the picture, and then you get your eyedropper tool, bam, you black it out. Then you kind of look, you see a little bit of light back in here, so you'll just change that just a bit. And then I go to the screen, well, pre-blur, just a little bit. Again, I just started After Effects a few days ago. I'm real new to it, but I really wanted to learn this transparency for various reasons, and I thought this was cool, so I wanted to share it, because this is a shorter video. Just make some minor adjustments on here. Clip white is fine. Drag it back a little bit. Clip roll back. Doesn't do a whole lot. Shrink that just a little bit. Get any, any overlap of the green blur or black line on there. Screen softness. That I don't see doing much. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go in the Composition, Add to Render Queue. For the Output Mode, I'm going to go to, uh, actually, Cancel. I, I open the outlet mode, the Output Mode, Lossless with the Alpha Channel. Then Output 2, I'll just do something where I recognize. I'll put XZ, XZ on my desktop so I can find it easily. Save and then render. It renders very rapidly. Now it's not a large file and I've got a very fast computer. Windows computer. I see a little glow around me that may be an issue but for this demo that's just done the fine adjusting here. So once you get that rendered you can drag it into your new project. So I'm going to open up Camtasia. I've got Camtasia Studios ready. I've got a background. This is actually one of my web pages I've got here. So I'm going to go File, Import Media. Is it uh, go XZ AVI Open? There I am. I'm going to drag this onto here. And this is so cool. There I am. I'm going to do like so. I'm going to get them just slightly off the web page just so you barely see them. I didn't walk far enough to make this really work well. So I've go to add animation and then I'm set. And then here I go. I'll walk onto the screen and I can talk about what's going on on my web page. So I thought this is a really neat thing with an animation. Really great way to add and that just shows you a practical use which I was kind of watching and looking for and now I know how to do it. So I hope this helps you. May God bless you and have a good day.